Hey everybody, it's Nick again with Hostile Hair. Um, by popular demand, I'm going to show you my nipples. Well, those of you that have Google searched uh, nipples on YouTube are going to be horribly disappointed because we're not going to show human nipples or any mammal nipples for that matter. How many times can I say nipples in this video? Anyway, these are automatic water nipples for rabbits. This is the system that I sell and the system that I use. Hostile hair tested, hostile hair approved. So it comes in three components. You have the brass nipple itself, the clip, and the T. Now each one of these will have these three components. Um, this is one of the reasons I really like this nipple other than the fact that it really likes to be attached to this. There we go. Is you can take it apart. Now I'm in Arizona and our water is so hard that you don't need a sledgehammer for demolition. You just spray water on it and <laughs> buildings come down. Just kidding. No, our water is really hard. So all the extra calcium that's in the water ends up in these nipples. So you can take them apart like, like this. Let's see, it's not really focusing focusing on my hand okay so it comes apart like so and you can see there is a what do you call it it's kind of a bladder thing in there I want it to focus this is my cell phone and there we go look at that it automatically focuses that is the little uh, bladder or the diaphragm in there that this pin pushes into and it's allowed just enough wiggle room that it breaks the seal and lets water come in so you don't need very much pressure just gravity fed will work uh, if you want to be fancy you can get a regulator and bring the pressure down to 5 psi which is what they recommend I've run mine at 30 psi and it works just fine it's just the water comes out a little bit faster for the rabbits on the bottom rack uh, so much so that some of the babies will play with them and spray their mama with it. Kind of fun. But anyway, you can see that it's fairly well constructed. It's not cast. It's actually turned brass. And if these things get a calcium buildup, get a little bit of hard water in them, just disassemble them. Like I showed. Soak them in some vinegar. And then throw them back on the line. Get a couple extra ones so that you can do this on the fly and have some at the ready when you see one leaking. That's the other thing is you can control the amount of pressure right here at the nipple by spinning it. Loose is a lot of uh, water will flow easily, even to the point of leaking. When you're training your bunnies to drink this, you let them run so they can smell it and they can see it and they know this is the source of water. And then you tighten it up so it stops leaking and then it only allows when it comes through. So, when installing, depending on your cage, if you get a cage from Hostile Hair, you have inch by half inch wire. And this is one inch right here. So you'll slide it in the hard side first. This is a hard one to move. This side bends a little bit better. You slide this one in first and then now it's a matter of preference if you want this facing up or facing down. Some of the bunnies like to bite with their bottom uh, jaw and or lick. I, I'm sorry, they'll bite with their top teeth if it's up like this or if you have it upside down, they'll lick underneath or bite. They're, they're biters, they'll bite all the time on this. But the nice thing about the brass is it'll handle it. There is some chrome plated aluminum ones that are a little bit less expensive. They're about a buck a piece less expensive than the brass ones. In some cases, $2 less expensive. But the rabbits eat through them. I've only had, I think they lasted about six months when I put them on. Because I'm cheap, I went with those ones first. And uh, I wasn't happy with them. So anyways, there's my nipples, all you hostile hair fans that wanted to see them. And uh, yes, you're welcome that I didn't actually show you my nipples. Anyway, for more information, check out HostileHair.com. Follow us here on, uh, on the YouTubes. And uh, let me know what you think of my nipples.